Let's face it, bells and whistles are great, but what really tells you the complete story about a practice management program are the basics. You know, the meat and potatoes, the bread and butter, the, well, well you get the picture. From day one using the MoGo program, you have all your tasks laid out directly in front of you. On MoGo's patient lookup list, it's home screen, you have the nuts and bolts. Oh, okay, sorry, last one, I promise. We organized this screen to make it easy for you to know where to go to do what you need to do. Searching the list is super easy. Just start typing. Accessing your patients can't be any easier. Believe me, we tried. It's not possible. All of your day-to-day -day functions, what you will spend most of your time doing, are right here, all in one spot. Accessing and creating new patients, opening patient transaction ledgers, creating treatment plans, and opening your appointment book can all be found in the upper left corner. These functions are required by just about everybody in the office. But what about role-specific screens? Well, for you doctors, hygienists, and clinicians out there, we put all of our clinical functions in one spot, in the upper right-hand corner. Accessing your chart, x-ray interface, sending electronic prescriptions, and more can all be found in this one section. For those of you who work primarily at the front desk, we kept you in mind as well. Inner office communication, creating and printing form letters, sending and receiving emails and faxes can all be found in the bottom left of the list. And hey, we didn't forget about you office managers. We group functions such as office reporting and our time clock in the bottom right along with other utilities. All right, enough about the lookup list. I know what you wanna see. I know what you came here for. You wanna see how MoGo handles everyday tasks, like creating appointments or treatment plans. Well, say no more. Let's go ahead and launch the appointment book. It opens up to today's date. So the first thing we need to do is go to the day we wanna schedule an appointment for. On our sidebar, click on the day on the calendar and our appointment book will jump to the date. Next, we need to schedule an appointment. Now, unlike some programs out there who tell you that you have to do things their way, we give you a few different ways to do things so you can become comfortable using the program. This is the case with new appointments. You can click on the icon on the icon bar, or you can double click on the starting time for the appointment, or you can highlight the entire range of the appointment, right click and choose new appointment. Me, I'm a double clicker, so that's how I bring up the new appointment. But you can do whatever you feel most comfortable with. In our new appointment window, we see our patient and all of their info, the provider who will be doing the appointment, the specifics such as date, time, number of units, operatory, etc. And we can enter notes and link treatments. Change anything you need to and click OK to schedule. It's that simple. Oh, you made a mistake and need to move the appointment or change the length? No problem, simply click and drag. So, now it's the day of the appointment, and the patient arrives at the office. Somebody at the front desk clicks on the patient's appointment and checks them in. What's this? The patient information screen automatically opened up. Well, I guess since the screen is open, now would be a good time to ask the patient if any of their info has changed. You know, like phone numbers or employer or insurance info. Wow, you didn't even need to remember to ask that. Thanks, Mogo. Wait. Now MoGo is telling you that the patient has a consent form that they have to sign. Oh, well that means I have to pull the forms out of a file and give them to the patient with a clipboard so they can sign them. And then when they're done, I have to scan them into the program, right? Not with MoGo. With our built-in e-signature module, I just need to show them the form on my screen and have them sign on a signature pad. Better yet, I can hand them a tablet and they can read over the form and sign directly on the tablet. How cool is that? So now that the patient is checked in, someone from the office shows them into the operatory to wait for the doctor or hygienist. When the doctor arrives in the operatory and starts their exam, MoGo automatically opens the patient's restorative chart for them. Now the doctor or assistant just needs to mark off exam findings and completed treatment, all by just clicking on the icon and then on the tooth. Did we do a filling for the patient? No problem, just click on the filling icon. Well, I know what you're thinking. It, it didn't say how many surfaces it was or if it was posterior or anterior. H how will the program know what the service code is? That's one of the best things about MoGo's restorative chart. Many of the treatment icons are general, so you aren't cluttered with too many options. For our filling, after I click on the tooth, I can choose exactly what surfaces I did the filling on and MoGo knows exactly what code to add. 
It's as simple as point and click. Okay, so the exam is done. Treatment is done. Charting is done. Now, we need to do a treatment plan. So we click on the treatment plan icon and launch into a super powerful MOGO function. Don't you hate it when dental software doesn't understand what it is you do in the office? Trust me, we hate it too. Take treatment planning for example. Most softwares just give you one screen and one option, where you have no tracking of when you presented the plan to your patient or when they accepted or rejected it. Not MOGO. Our treatment plan module lets you create a true treatment plan. Multiple options for each tooth, giving your patients legitimate control of their own oral health. Let's say your patient has an issue with tooth number 14. It's pretty bad, but there are a few options that your patient can choose from. For starters, we could just do a filling, which might work, but also might not be enough. So maybe we want to give them the option to just extract the tooth. But your ideal solution would be to do a root canal, post and core buildup, and finally add a crown. Now, your patient is laid out all options and can see the difference in cost as well as number of appointments needed. When they make the decision and accept an option, we mark it and add those transactions automatically to their transaction screen, which is where we're going next. Oh, before we go, did I mention you can create custom treatment plan documents with your own verbiage and logo? Oh yeah, you can do that with MOGO. So, the transaction screen. Really, it couldn't be any simpler. Treatment codes add to the patient balance, payments reduce the balance. MOGO's line item distribution also means when a patient makes a payment on a treatment they had done, we specifically distribute that payment to that treatment, so everything is aged properly. After a payment is made, we have to print a receipt, right? No problem. Just click on the receipt icon, choose a few settings, and hit print. Did I forget to mention that all of these functions are available on both MOGO's traditional server-based program and the fully cloud-based one? Well, yeah, they are. So unlike browser-based cloud programs, you still have 100% access to things like e-signature and x-ray interfaces. Pretty cool, huh? Like I said before, there's much more to the MOGO program, but those are for another time and another video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit MOGO's homepage www.mogo.com frequently for more information, more videos, just more.